Hey folks, thanks for stopping by the channel. If you're here to learn more about Starlink and the amazing benefits of such technology, especially in a setting like this where there is no infrastructure, this is a video you're gonna to wanna to see, so make sure you stick around. so maybe you've decided to move outside of the city. You wanna go somewhere in a rural location, or maybe you live on a rural farm, or maybe you've decided to buy a vacation property that's really off the beaten path for whatever reason. Maybe you just wanna get away from all the nonsense that's going on um, in the cities, okay? I don't blame you. So you find yourself a piece of property you make the purchase and then you find out that there's really very little internet connection where your property is located. Some would say that it's a good thing that there's no internet at your rural property where you want to take the family and relax or move to to relax and just kind of get away from all the nonsense that's going on in the world. And I would agree somewhat, however, in today's day and age, internet is something that we heavily rely on for the most part. It's kind of, it's kind of a, part, a permanent part of our society and you do a lot with internet these days. You know, you, you pay bills, you, you, uh, you go to school, you work online, you know. Um, and it's important to keep, keep up with uh, family members who might be, you know, hundreds, thousands of miles away. So it's very important, I think, to, in today's day and age to have internet, um, but it's not necessarily something you need to be on 24 seven. So I have 48 acres of somewhat wooded land in the mountains of Northern Arizona. I plan to retire here someday. Um, I don't live here full time. I usually spend about four or five weeks a year here, and I also come up every month on a weekend. Um, I've been here for about seven years, and it's been very difficult uh, not having very good internet connection here. And again, some people would say, oh, you don't need internet, that's, that's not off-grid. Whatever, that's your opinion, not mine. Um, I will say there are some benefits to having internet at a, at a property like this, okay? Um, first-hand experience. Uh, bringing the family up here, all right? They've, they've come up here many, many times. It's, I've usually come up here by myself, but the family comes up here uh, many times over the years, uh, two weeks, three weeks, whatever. And um, it can get a little boring here once in a while. I will tell you this, uh, it's, it's been a lot easier to get them up here when they know we've got a solid internet connection. And it sounds kind of silly, but um, you know, again, internet's a big part of our daily lives, including our kids, our spouses, and it's a part of their lifestyle, you know, and you bring them up to a place like this, and you, you're affecting their lifestyle, and it may affect them negatively. So, you get internet at a place like this, really good internet, they come up, they get to experience the uh, rustic, you know, peaceful daily life of a property like this, but then you introduce them to unlimited internet, high speed, really good internet, and they're still able to keep up with their friends on social media. Um, they can still pay their bills, do this, do that, whatever. They just don't have to be on it all the time, you know? They can go off on a hike, go on a bike ride, dirt bike ride, whatever. If you have horses, horseback ride. Um, but when they're, when they're done they, and they have a moment, they can, whatever, go on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. So, trust me, it, it's really made things a lot easier having family up here when they know they have a solid internet connection and it, it doesn't affect their daily life. So again, I've been here for seven years and up until I got Starlink, I really didn't have a very good, reliable, high-speed internet option. Um, unless you wanna break the bank and you're, you're still, you're throttled at some point, I believe, with other options. Um, so up until a couple of years ago, there really wasn't anything I could do out here to get me really good high-speed internet. 
um, and then came Starlink. So I ordered Starlink a little over a year ago. I got it a few months ago. And man, what a game changer. I'm not kidding. Like, uh, I can literally FaceTime people wherever I want, upload large, large uh, YouTube videos, stream high def TV, play my, my streaming music, all that good stuff, all because of Starlink. Um, it's a little pricey. Um, I think right now it's about, I think it's $110 a month, give or take. Uh, right around $110 a month for the service. But there is no, there's no cap, okay? You're not, you're not only given a certain number of, uh, you know, megabits or gigabits or whatever. It's, it's unlimited, okay? And right now I'm getting pretty decent download speeds compared to what I've had here before. I'm, I'm, I'm over 100 megabits download uh, I think it varies like 100, 100 150 140 something like that um, the uploads not terrible either so um, it's just it's an absolute game changer here another benefit for me to having high-speed internet is I leave my surveillance cameras on when I'm not here everything stays powered up um, Starlink has been powered up the entire time in fact it's been running autonomously since I installed it uh, a little over a month ago I suppose, uh, two months ago. But uh, it allowed me to pick up the, uh, the big dust devil that came through here last month and did some damage out around back there and on those panels right there. So I was able to get that from home because I have good internet and my surveillance cameras can stay running 24 seven. So as a property owner like this, and I'm not here all the time, in fact, I'm not here most of the time, it's very peaceful to know that you can have your surveillance running. You'll know if there's anybody here, it'll send you notifications at, on your cell phone at home. Um, and then you can go ahead and download the video file to your phone. But it really helps to have a really good quality internet connection to do that. I'd also have to say it's a pretty high quality and durable um, satellite internet system. And I'll tell you why. Um, Again, that dust devil that came through here in uh, the end of May, it was ripping things around, throwing heavy objects, um, picked up my solar panel system that was on top of my shipping container back there, a couple hundred pounds, just literally picked it up and threw it on the ground. Um, but that dish, that dish did not move one little bit. It hasn't affected my, my uh, connectivity or anything. And I think that's pretty impressive. And also the modem or the router that it connects to inside, I accidentally dropped it like on its head, right off the table, bam, picked it up, no scratches, no cracks, and it's still working. So it is a pretty durable system. Something else you might wanna note about this system is they're not done deploying, Starlink is not done deploying all of the satellites up in orbit. So the connectivity and the download and upload speeds, it's only going to get better over time. So Starlink is not just meant for rural applications. I think that's why it was created initially to give internet to pretty much any point on the planet, which it's, it's coming close to, but it's not necessarily required for only rural areas. So for instance, I live in a fairly decent sized city down in Southern Arizona. I live in an older part of town and I have cable internet. I pay for 200, um, 200 down basically is what my, my speeds are supposed to be. However, the infrastructure there is pretty old and um, there just isn't enough bandwidth to go around to everybody in my area. And my max speed, download speed, is about 70 to 80 meg uh, megabits download, okay? So it's nowhere near what it's supposed to be. And this could be another option for people in a city like that who just can't get the speeds that they're supposed to be getting from their, their cable or uh, their internet provider because uh, the, the, the cables in the ground and whatnot, they're old, it's old and there just isn't enough, you know, they're going to fiber optics, but some places don't, haven't upgraded yet. And uh, you just can't get the speeds you're supposed to be getting and what you're paying for. So you can get Starlink at your home in the city and it's much faster in situations like that uh, might cost a little bit more, but um, it's it's a great system. And you know, if uh, if the power ever goes out, whatever, and you still want internet, um, you don't have to, or the cable, you don't have to rely on cable company going down, cable signal going down. 
So this system, if you turn off the, uh, the, the heat coil from the app, you can turn it off in the dish to uh, keep it from using so much power. It's using right around 50, 60 watts. So totally doable if you got a little battery pack or, or uh, a little generator, something like that, and your power goes out, you still have internet. So I know I've only had Starlink for a couple of months, and I really don't have a lot of time using it yet to give a really detailed long-term review. But I gotta say, in an environment like this, where it's always windy, almost always windy and really strong wind, um, it's been doing great. There's a lot of people that live out in this area full time um, and have been up here on this, this ranch area for a lot longer than I have. And they've used all the different types of internet. They've gone with jet packs, they've gone with uh, other satellite internet carriers because there's no other service out here. And you know what, they're all going to Starlink. Some of them just got Starlink, some of them have been on it for a little while and they, they're all impressed with it. They, they have nothing bad to say about it. So that's something else you wanna consider. So I'm not sponsored by Starlink in any way. I purchased this system with my own money. They're not giving me anything for doing this uh, update or review. But um, if you guys are on the fence about whether or not to buy this system, at this point in time, I don't think I would go with any other, any other service um, just based on everything I've mentioned in this video. And let me tell you, if something goes wrong with this system over time, I'll be sure to do an update on it. I'm, I'm not afraid to give the pros and or cons on this system because I want everybody to know, you know, everything they can about this system to, to make the decision to purchase or not. So, so far, super impressed. All right, guys, if you have any questions or comments or maybe uh, I didn't go over something you were interested in learning, just let me know. Put some comments down below the description. And if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up, it'd really help out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe either. And I really hope this video helped you, you know, decide whether or not you're interested in it or maybe you want to keep looking, do a little more research. That's totally fine. Um, the more the better. So I think that's going to do it for this video. You guys take care. Have a great day. Please be safe and I'll see you in the next video.